Hey what's up y'all, so today I just thought I would uh, take a look at my new Debian workstation. Um, I would like, I just wanted to show like some of the tools that I use for development, uh, some other things that I like in my system, and maybe you can kind of relate. Anyway, if you haven't already, do me a huge favor and smash that like button, that really helps me out. So let's get started. All right. And as you can see, I have just basically a, a, a KDE Plasma desktop. And uh, I guess you guys might not know, I, I do like half of my work in, in tiling window managers and probably my other half on something like Plasma. Sometimes, you know, I, I have a hard on and go with like budgie or something like that but for the most part plasma is like my favorite normal desktop environment it's just really really awesome so as you can see it's uh i'm using neptune 7.5 that's my distro which is just a derivative from debian it has a very new kernel kernel 6.0 that means that that has rust embedded in it which is really cool Basically, I like dark themes and um, you can see like what kind of uh, hardware that I'm running on here. So um, some of my uh, wallpapers are a little dated and they're actually from like a smaller resolution. Some of them didn't work so well. So probably in the next couple of days, I'm probably going to go through all of the uh, wallpapers that just aren't really cutting it. But some of them actually did kind of make the transition and make my desktop look really nice. There's a couple of things that I uh, use. Basically, I use um, things like uh, QML, QT5. I even use QT6 from time to time. Um, I don't ever use Android Studio. I don't know why that was installed. They have some arcade games, which I don't ever use. Um, uh, I always use like screenshots and things like this. Um, internet. I usually use Brave Browser for almost everything. I sometimes use Firefox for just uh, like something won't quite work on Brave Browser and so it works on Firefox. When I'm doing web development I will go with Chrome. Um, I have some other stuff that I had from my Arch Linux, some flat packs and stuff on here. And uh, Scribed is, uh, I'm, a, I'm a subscriber of that. Uh, I get a lot of my reading material from there. Shift is a pretty good thing that I use a lot. I use uh, Telegram for desktop. I don't ever use Thunderbird, so I'm probably going to take that out, but whatever. I have like your regular, you know, run of the mill, like uh, sound stuff that I would use. You know, uh, I do record music, so this is like kind of a really big one for me. Like, so my laptop right here, I use as a digital workstation for you know recording music and that sort of thing. Um, you can see the guitar here, and I have a couple over there. So you have LibreOffice Math. I'm not gonna actually have like LibreOffice because I normally like use like uh, LaTeX. So uh, or I I'll use like uh, a Markdown. Um, I'll use like Markdown syntax to convert that into uh, a PDF. That also works really well, which also kind of requires LaTeX. <laughs> so now we have our settings so basically it's just your basic stuff synaptic package manager that sort of thing you know um, back in time I've never actually used that um, I also have time shift um, I don't know which one's better or worse or any of that uh, HTOP you know ISO image writer you know pretty pretty basic stuff here I have a vert manager. This is what I use for the majority of my virtual machines. This is just a dream. And so like here, I do a lot of my development 
right here in a virtual machine with Vert Manager. I think Vert Manager is the greatest. Um, and I was actually going to set this up to be my my uh, virtual environment that um, I use with Wildfire, Wildfire. But I have to say that Flexbox has like some weird uh, screen tearing thing going on, and so I'm probably just gonna use like uh, XFCE or something. Um, but then you know I basically enter in my password. You know, then, uh, pretty cool stuff there. What else do we got here? So we have a bunch of things like Yaqui, uh, Xterm, <laughs> Synaptics Package Manager, Deconf Editor, Discover, Dolphin. I also have PC Man FM because I, I do actually prefer to use that when I can, um, even though I, I know it's kind of ridiculous because I am on, on on plasma at least right now um, that's not going to be forever though like I'm going to figure out how to install uh, Qtile and other window uh, tiling window managers for example and probably I'll uh, probably configure open box or something um, a lot of other things easy SSH Emoji selector, I haven't used that. Instagraph, I not use that either. It seemed kind of interesting to me at the time. Got NordVPN Electron, use that a little bit. Um, I do have, I actually do use NordVPN. And the reason being that I use NordVPN, let me show you. So, Okay, the reason why I use my uh, own VPN or need a VPN is basically because I watch YouTube TV. So, for instance, if I want to watch something on here, right, and so say I, you know, want to watch an episode of, like, say, The Young Turks, one of my favorite. And I get this message and so all I have to do is just go VPN and states. I don't type very fast to be honest. I'm not horrible but now if I go over here and I refresh that I usually can watch whatever it is that I wanted to watch. So I'm not going to play it obviously because I don't want a YouTube strike, but it's just um, one of those things that I do or I need uh, to kind of like keep kind of relevant. And so that's one of the reasons why I use a VPN, for example. Um, if I lived in China, for example, it would be absolutely vital. That's the part that you see. You see, like, this is the desktop that you see at face value. But there's a lot of other stuff that I do that, um, maybe not so obvious. So if you take a look at, like, say my configurations and stuff, you'll see that I have aliases um, so um, I need to actually update uh, my ZSH because I think I'm gonna start using that especially I, I've been seeing lately that I think that I would actually improve my production speed probably by 25 or 30 percent maybe a little more even and so I, you can see that I have a bunch of like aliases and stuff. If you go over here, here are all my, here are all my D manuscripts, that sort of thing. And here I am in my D menu directory. Ooh. 
And I actually have scripts that I've used over the years. These are just a few of them, actually. And as you can see, I have aliases for everything and everything else so that I can just get in and out. And that's pretty much my whole thing is just getting in and out. Let's see if um, my markdown works. So let's see if I can do it. So, okay, yeah. So, say I wanted. Uh, do something like that. Okay. Wait. So, I have something that I actually use. Um, there's a couple of tools that I use uh, because I take a lot of notes when it comes to, like, development. So, let's see if this actually. Ooh. And doc not found. So that's actually an easy fix. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Very good. So let's try that again. Okay, it's launching the preview, so that part's working. Oh, let's see. Oh, I mean, okay. Yep, yep, let's see here if I have. Okay. So this should work now. So now I have something like this. I'm going to show you something that's a tool that I use. Um, and here you go. This is. Uh, there we go. That was a little too bright for me. But this isn't too bad. So this is live. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you here. Um, so it takes a while to kind of update, but you can see that this is like, um, this actually works better with COYEC. Uh, SIO Yak. It works a lot better. This is what I use to write like all my notes and everything else. Now check this out. So like now I go ahead and I'll save it. And you'll see like where I had those missing static uh, files. I have a PDF file automatically written for me. And then I have like this file. It's uh, basically my my uh, my alias is just docs and here are all of my alias so I go into Python so I say pyin oh I don't have Zathura installed so that would uh, So I'm trying to figure out how I can install uh, SIO YEC or whatever you, however it's called or pronounced or whatever. But basically, if I do now, if I do this, so I have like all of these files. So say I want PyM. Here's my um, here here are some of my notes that I have on PyM and how to get this up and running and what I need and stuff like that. But what I was actually going to show you, now I'm not, um, so say I'm like on a video somewhere or even like some pages. Um, I don't know if I can take a note here or not. Yeah, I, I actually can't see it. I can take a, 
I can take a photo of this, so like I'll just like, oops, sorry. Uh, so I can take, just like take a uh, photo of this. If I click on it, I can crop it, I can write things to it, I can put text inside of it. So let's say I wanted to crop it. It's really easy to crop. Um, sorry. Um, normally it is. So it's really easy to crop so like you don't have like a bunch of dead space and stuff so like say you just wanted like maybe something like that you can just go ahead and there you are you can write titles you put a title in here right so like blah 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 okay now you see this pdf you'll go here to pdf right and then you can save it as mark i can save this as markdown and i have it and then i can make further notes on top of that whatever i'm doing in markdown then i can send it over to like my uh, so this would be my dot dot and as you can see i have a bunch of different things that I have in here that I use quite a bit and uh, this is pretty much my uh, my workstation the only other thing that I didn't show you would be the only thing worth talking about might be like my visual studio code setup I don't think it's anything to write home about I was uh, basically you know uh working with this the other day so like say if i said div dot and then now i can go in and so blah blah so i have a div class of blah blah basically and that's about it you know so i have a lot of like auto completion stuff set up to make me a little bit more productive. Um, I have a lot, of, like I said, I have a lot of stuff like OBS, that sort of thing. And so that's pretty much my system. And uh, in a nutshell, uh, I know that this is kind of like the long way around with things, but this is kind of like the things that, you know, I need to keep myself productive. And I use a lot of other tools. Like I said, I use tiling window managers. At least I did in Arch Linux. I don't know if that will still continue to be a thing for me. But hopefully, hopefully I, I will be, um, be able to use tiling window managers just as easily in Debian as I can in Arch Linux. So did you really like this video? Well, do me a huge favor. Smash that uh, subscribe button. This would put this video in front of some people who might actually like my content. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.